I made a big mistake. After the round one playoffs, I go down and click Sim to next big event. And then I just realized that it's Sim to this game seven. It simmed all the way to the game seven and we did not play this game, this game, all of these games. Oh, we did bad that game. Nah, that game was horrible. But it simmed us all the way to this game seven. Alright. Better win this game. Peace. Tick, 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 closer and closer to this big game edition. How do you approach it, Ray? Uh, for me, I was always a detail guy. I made sure my sticks were done and I was sitting in the room and thinking about it. Other guys, they just kind of hang out in the bowl and they listen to music. I kind of think their way's better, actually. Less stress. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Burrow, I'm Shady Sabalski. Game seven here on EA Sports. One team's going home and one's moving on. A critical game for both sides here and we are underway. A chance and that one stopped. The Rangers have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Panarin. Nice zone entry from the left. Maintains possession. He was locked in there. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken by Aho. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Into the offensive end now. And he gives it over to Lindgren. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Moves it quickly over to Allen. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. What a save by Anderson. Taken along the wall by Panarin. Oh, they do it again. It's in the back of the net. They score. It doesn't take them very long either. With the delayed penalty, they're able to score. It nullifies their power play, but it doesn't really matter. Two things at play here, James. We get a second look at it. It's the speed that he's skating, but also the way he delivers the puck in stride to beat the goaltender. His shot is so hard to stop when he shoots while in motion. His quick release is his make it snappy zone ability, and he used it to zip one right past the goaltender, guys. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. New York's up one zip. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Puck goes out of play. We got a face off coming up. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Carolina's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Throws it in. New York's got it in their own zone. All alone! Stopped by the puck stopper! Yeah, beaten is the term, James. The goaltender beats the shooter on that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Manages to hang on. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Shesterkin. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Alan 
Braun's known for getting away from defenders with his spinorama zone ability, guys. His balance and quick thinking makes him so hard to check. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Here's a chance. Big time stop there. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. Anderson's going to hang on for a whistle. means he can distribute the puck so well. Panarin's make it snappy zone ability means he's good at firing the puck while in motion because he's got such a quick release. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them could be a difference maker for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Plays the puck up ahead. And that's off a stick. And that's not to side with the stick by Terabyte. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. Knocked away with the stick by Panarin. Keeps hold of the puck. Tara Bynan's got it against the boards. Oh, what a stop! Handles the puck. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Anderson's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Past the midway mark of the frame. New York's ahead, 1-0. Zabinijad's magnetic zone ability helps him settle down the puck when it's bobbling on him so he can keep control of it and make the next play. Textbook stop by Shusterkin. The Rangers take it across the line. Quick feed to Allen. Oh, it's denied by Anderson. Puck scooped up by Pesci. Carolina's gained possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick pass to Shea. Denies him on the slapper. Scrum ensues along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Zabinijad. Sends a pass over. Shot in front. Tremendous stop by Anderson. He really shoots his snapshot on the move well. One of the better players in the league testing the goaltender here. Moves the puck to the attacking area. That pass doesn't go. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Are you looking for information on the stars of tomorrow? Today? Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Carolina's got it along the wall. And that's poked away. Puck picked up by Shusterkin. Grabbed along the boards by Panarin. He carries the puck up along the wing. There's a shot. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Denies him. He got all of it. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's a chance. Oh, what a slick stop by Anderson. From center, they get into the attacking area. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Denies him in front. Directed over to Panarin. Allen's got the puck. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Enters the offensive zone from the left. They fight for it along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to Svechnikov. Puck grabbed by Slavin. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's 2-1. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. 
Carolina's got a hold of the puck. And that's picked off. Here's a short pass to Allen. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Takes the feed. The Rangers take it across the blue line. Picked up along the wall by Zabinijan. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. An easy save by Anderson. Carolina's looking to break out. Gains the zone on the left wing. And he regains control of the puck. And that carries off a stick. Through center along the wing. Wicked slap shot. Scores with a little added drink on the side. I like when the bottle goes up in the air, how angry the goalie gets. Like he slaps the bottle away. It's not the bottle's fault. Like, stop the puck, man. Just the insult to injury with the bottle pop. New York's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Into the attacking area from the left side. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. The Hurricanes gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Poked away at center by Shea. New York's got the puck. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And the puck skips away after that move. Niederreiter's got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. A blast! What a stop as he puts out the fire! Anderson's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Quick stop by Anderson. Away from harm's way. That's a good save. Scores! Make us a finish and puts it in. The Rangers are really starting to turn this thing on in a second. seem a half a step quicker all over the ice. That adds up into a lead that they can extend. Can't get it to go. And they'll go the other way with it. Here's a shot. Oh, wow, stops him again. Chesterkin's brilliance on display here. Great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Carolina's got the puck. The Hurricanes have it now. Poked away in the neutral zone. Carolina's got the puck here in the open ice. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick feed to Sabinashad. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Teravainen's been on fire lately. His point streak starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Fox is good at keeping the play going with solid, crisp passes that are easy for his teammates to receive, guys. He loves to set them up for success with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. And that's blocked. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck. Looks to pass it to Bear. Quick pass to Fast. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Stays with it. Puts the puck on net. And that one's turned away. Chesterkin's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage. And his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Stahl's got to take on a lot here as the captain of this team. And they're not playing very well. They're chasing the game. And he's got to be the one to grab everybody by the collar and say it's time to get back to work here. Sends it ahead to Allen. With the blast! Oh, fantastic save! There is the score! Johnny on the spot, he tucks in the rebound!
followed through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. The Rangers probably don't want this period to end here, Razor. Nobody wants a birthday party, Dan. Those things are fun. <laughs> Good boy. So you want to keep going here. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? New York's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Turned aside with the glove by Shusterkin. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Tara Bynan. Moves it to Ajo. To his teammate. Can't capitalize on the play. Takes it right in the chest. Svechnikov's been able to put this team on his back. He's among the league leaders in points in this playoff. Ray, you're between the benches. Are you picking up on any of this? Yeah, I, I thought a really good reminder here from the coach to his youngest player is that you're at a point in the game where safety is better than a creative play. Make the right play the smart play. Keep the puck in front of you. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Ajo's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. He was totally locked in on that play. New York's got the puck along the wall. Centering pass! Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Sabinijad swooping in on the attack. Slides the puck over. And that's blocked! What a big draw on their own end. Bears moving the puck through his own zone. Tara Biden's going to play it against the half wall. And that's a great heads up play by Zabinijad. And it's a quick pass to Allen. Skates to the crease. Oh, to Nyssum with the paddle save. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Poked away in the defensive end. Puck sent over to Allen. Here's the pass. Oh, huge desperation save. Well, the goalie makes an unbelievable save on a great scoring chance. That was quality on both ends. The Hurricanes move it in. And now he moves it quickly to Gardner. Puts it on net. Oh, there's a great stop by Shesterkin. Here's a short pass to Tara Vinen. And he makes the save. On the backhand. Oh, another consecutive stop. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Quick feed to Allen. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Svechnikov. Puck dumped in, and the forwards go for a change. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Passes over to Fox. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Who had the edge? Harlan standing by with the answer. Panarin's been beyond noticeable in this game. He's racked up more points. He used his own ability to create some offense. And he's been the one to give his team the edge tonight. Moves it quickly over to Allen. Glides along the blue line. Here's a blast. Oh, and it slides just wide. They work the puck into position. The goalie's in good shape, but he doesn't even have to get a pad or an arm on it as it goes wide of the net. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
Carolina's got it in their own zone. The Hurricanes play it along the boards. Great reach with the poke check. Slides the puck to Ajo. The Hurricanes are on the attack. Dumps it into the Ozone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Rister. Oh, what a save in front. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Quick feed to Allen. Drives it to the crease. Quick stop by Ronta. Takes the feed. Moves the puck up to Panarin. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Ajo. The Rangers gain possession. The same solid team effort in round one that pushed them here has carried through. And they're rolling on. And that one's broken up. And it is over. How much do you fire it up after a victory like this? Yes, you win the series, but not over yet. No, I, I would say you're going to be pretty happy tonight, and then tomorrow it's rest and recovery and right back to work with whoever your next opponent's going to be. Is there a better tradition than this one that defines the sport? Depends which side of the line you're in. Yeah, but, but really, I mean, it's, a, it's an unbelievable way for the series to end where the winning team and the losing team respect each other's efforts. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night. Ray, what was your assessment of the rookie? He seemed like there was a switch at a certain point of the game where he looked like a different player. Yeah, he did get better. I, I thought when the coach challenged him, we saw it earlier that the player responded. What's, what's interesting is the coach only challenges a guy if he thinks he's got more in the tank. He clearly thinks highly of this rookie player. <laughs> What a performance. What a show. They're moving on as they pick up the victory in Game 7 and go on to the next round. And what can you say about the rookie? His first ever Game 7 appearance, and he shows up with an absolute clutch performance. That's what you want to see. And think about that if you're the coaching staff now. Knowing that's what you can get in a bright lights, big game moment from the youngster, Oh, man, that's going to be a huge boost to confidence, not only for the kid himself, but for the coaching staff, knowing that they can trust him to play like that in big-time moments. Love the effort, and they're moving on with a big-time Game 7 victory. All right, still to come here on the show, we'll be joined by a special analysis.